So today I'm going to try out hyperbaric oxygen and I'm here in Gloucester at the MS Centre. Hi, I'm Rachel and um, my daughter comes here for oxygen therapy every week. Uh, we've been coming for about two and a half years now. Um, Molly has a complicated rare illness and also ME. So um, we started coming um, because she was getting more and more poorly all the time. Um, she's doing really well now and it's made such a difference to her. I think that um, if, if we hadn't have come, I think she'd be tube fed in bed now because she was going that yeah. way. She was literally sleeping every day, all day. Um, and I think she slept, slept for a few years that way and, and was just progressively getting worse. So this yeah. has been a uh, saviour. Tell me, tell me what happens when somebody comes here. What can they expect or what? Um... So, um, generally, uh, you, you need to go to see your doctor and you need to get the doctors okay for you to go and have the oxygen treatment. The treatment works for a variety of different illnesses. Um, multiple sclerosis is the, the main one, obviously, because we're in the multiple sclerosis centre. Um, fibromyalgia, um, ME, you know, any um, cancer, any, any illnesses. Um, and it really helps to repair you. Um, sports people come in here for injuries. Um, have, we have uh, football players, rugby players, um, superbike riders, um, any injuries because it, it speeds up recovery. Um, it's, it's an amazing, amazing thing. And yeah, yeah, I mean, anyone who needs it really, really should come in. Brilliant. Over. So you get your doctors to sign the paperwork yeah, and then you come along bring, here yeah, and... Just ring the centre, ring yeah. Rachel runs the centre, yeah. give Rachel a ring, um, look, up, look it all up online, you can read about it online. Um, and then get the forms, get your doctor to sign them, and then just come along and, and see yeah. how you go. But no, generally, you, you can just go in there with your phone or a book um, and just sit down for an hour. <laughs> so you pressurise, it takes about 20 minutes to pressurise to the right depth. Then you sit and you breathe in 100% oxygen for the hour treatment. Then you um, get depressurised for another 20 minutes. Uh, so, so yeah, it's... Um, not that long a time to feel a lot, lot better. They do say that it's about 20 sessions before you start feeling the benefits. So, yeah, you've got to keep at it for a while. Nearly on your 100th treatment here in Gloucester. Yeah, I think I've got two dives to go and that'll be a hundred, so... Yeah. That's really amazing. And how is it, if you were trying to describe it to someone who had never been in before? Um. You have a little bit of pressure on your ears as you're going down, um, but no, it's, it's a bit uncomfortable after an hour with the mask on your mouth, but um, no, I, I personally, I don't notice any difference, but I do know that other people are in here, it does a, they know this, it, it's working mm -hmm. for them straight away. It's the worst claustrophobia in the universe. Um, yeah, when before I went in there, um, I was so bad. I couldn't be in a room with the door locked or anything like that. But she was so poorly, she was so ill that I had to do it for her, and I had to had to do it. So I spent t two years in there with Molly, um, twice a week or once a week, um, and then yeah. So now I kind of after two years think that she's okay by herself in there. So I'm operating the tank now with right. um, the other guys here. Wow, so but it hasn't cured your claustrophobia? Yes, it has. Uh, I can do anything now. I'm not scared of anything. <laughs> wow, so a side effect of the, of the treatment. <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah, totally amazed because I didn't think yeah. I'd ever, ever be able to do anything like that. But um, yeah, the chamber's so small. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've, you've been in there, so yeah. you know how tiny yeah. it is. Yeah, and, and then you're pressurised in as well. So um, there's no way of getting out, <laughs> which I knew. Um, but yeah, it's it's an amazing piece of kit. It's and where did this come from? It's it's old, isn't it? Yeah, this um, this began its life under the North Sea under an oil rig, um, and it's been in, used in the centre now for uh, 30 years. So it's quite an old um, piece of kit. Uh, they've got new chairs in there now and different things like that. Um, but yeah, it's uh, quite old, and it, it's all everything's measured. So when when we start pressurising, um, we measure the oxygen in there. Um, the pressure, is, the pressure gauges are up mm -hmm. here on the on the top there. So we have to log down different pressures. So it's all done in nautical measurements. So you're at the bottom 
so this is at, at the bottom of the sea kind of depth you know um, and yeah that, that's the way oh, wow so how deep did we go did we does it go? Um, <laughs> it, it was two or three today um, yeah. the the highest the, the lowest depth would be a four that's the, the, the deepest the, 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 the highest the pressure, pressure it can go right would, yeah right. so some people if you're going to a four mm. some people might experience ears popping so that's mm -hmm. quite quite painful if your ears are popping so you need to blow Ooh. your blow your ears out <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um but yeah if, the first time you go in is generally to a lower pressure because you're not used to that mm. kind of pressure it's, it's like being on an aeroplane really but um, they can, we can slow it down so you, you start with the levers here um, you can slow it down and speed it up so if someone's suffering in there with ears popping you can slow it down and, and let it go a bit slower so that's that's what we do from outside <laughs>